spot. Comfy. Very comfy. <laughs> Not a bad spot for the night. Still dying in the heat. Managed to get a wee campsite next to a river though, so we're getting a nice breeze. <sighs> Still melting though. You look cosy. And we get the hammocks up. And we get the hammock up. So it's still early. What time is it? I don't know. It's like early afternoon, so we parked up quite early, but we're suffering in this heat. So we're just going to stay in the shade for the rest of the day and then a wee bit more driving tomorrow. Bit of a dodgy road, dodgy rocks. It's bumpy. Bumpy. What a view, but. Beautiful. This will have a nice view when we burst the tyres. Touch wood. <laughs> oh, somebody's got a chair on it. Jesus, just you watch where you're going. You actually hit a big mass of rock. Off road. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's called Sweaty Betty. <laughs> sweaty Betty. I love it. We'll go over and have a wee look at it. Trying to have a nice peaceful sunrise and I keep getting attacked by wasps. Not bad at all. So hold on, let me get shades. It's too bright. That's better. So uh, yeah, we woke up this morning to two weather alerts. And one's not enough. Eh? First alert is a heat wave alert. Uh, we've already been dying in about 30 odd degrees weather, 32, 33 degrees. And uh, the alert is lasting for the next three days and it's to get to almost 40 degrees, which is really hot. The second alert is for the wildfire smoke, the Canadian wildfires, or the smoke is starting to make its way over to where we are. So the air quality is at a dangerous level. Can't stay in the van because the AC is almost non-existent and we don't have enough fans. And the van gets really, really hot inside because of the other wood. So if we stay in the van all day, we'll end up some bears roast dinner. We can't stay outside too long because of the smoke. You can probably pick it up. But yesterday, you could see all these hills for miles, especially in that direction. It just went for miles and now you can barely see a thing. But uh, yeah, we can't spend too long outside as well because the air quality is dangerous. So we have no idea what's going to happen today, what we're going to do. We'll see how it pans out. You coping? Just. No nice out here with the breeze, it's super hot. Yeah, we'll come back in there. So one way to stay cool when you live in a van with no AC, find some water and go for this one. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. It's doing the trick though. <laughs> Feeling it? Yeah, I think we need to just go for it. We need to just 3, 2, 1 and go. Ready? Stop. Three, two, one. one. Well. <laughs> no AC, no problem. <laughs> Just find a lake and go on. Exactly. <laughs> You look like Jack Nicholson with your hair like that. Oh my god. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you've got like cart stuck to your face and they are all sticking my foot aside. I'm keeping it. Ah, you do you. Terrifying. That's actually not bad. Oh. <laughs> How was that? Not as scary as I thought it was going to be. It looked scary on like the that. camera. Yeah. Cool. Look, yeah. It's this bit I'm worried about. This is um. But this is going to be a fun bit to watch. <laughs> Crazy. Joking? What? Every time I try. us heading for Penticton. I'm leaving the soyuz because it's too smoky and it's too hot. Penticton's probably going to be the exact same. Yeah. Um, well. But it's a bit bigger than the soyuz I think. Yeah. So we might be able to get like a, a library or something to play. Yeah well there's there's a Walmart and stuff so I'm assuming there'll be more than what there is here because there's yeah. no Walmart here so pretty small place. Okay, bye!